Hello everyone and welcome! The Ultimate Scale Truck Expo returned once again in 2023. This weekend was action packed from start to finish, and in today's video I'll be showing some of the highlights from all three days the event was held, as well as talk about what makes USDE unique and why I think many of you will want to mark your calendars for next year. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Easily one of the real highlights of USTE is the GCM Scale Truck Gallery. Some of the finest scale RC models on the planet are on display here. This event is all about making your truck look and perform as much like the real thing as possible. Some of the most detailed vehicles will feature full engine bays, complete exhaust systems, driver figures, and even brake lines. Let me know what trucks really catch your eye below in the comments. This groovy looking square body was certainly one of my favorites. For those who enjoy road cars, vintage buggies, monster trucks, and semi-trucks, there are judged galleries for those as well. The amount of amazing vehicles on display this year was off the charts. Seeing how this event has grown is simply incredible. Of course, you can't have an event all about RC vehicles, but have no place to drive them. Fortunately, USDE has something for everyone. For the 4x4s, there are miles of handcrafted trails. There are a few things that make these trails unique. 
All of the trails are not only highly detailed with lots of dioramas spread throughout, perfect for some great photos with your truck, but every single trail is designed in a way that even the most highly detailed tiny tire scale trucks can drive them. You'll have way more fun out on the trails with a tiny tire rig than you will with a giant crawler. For the drifters, both a micro and 10 scale drift track made a return for 2023. Speaking of drifting, although not a part of USDE, I was able to stop by the RC Supremacy HQ and check out this amazing track setup. Check out the RC Supremacy channel here on YouTube to learn more about this track. The folks at FMS have come through once again, sponsoring a micro crawler course that was a lot of fun to drive and featured a ton of details and obstacles. Something new this year was a diorama gallery featuring some absolutely incredible displays.
Vintage buggy and monster truck racing is always a lot of fun to watch. I did my best to navigate my grasshopper too around the track. Another cool aspect of this event are the classes available covering topics such as weathering, soldering, and welding. If you're feeling inspired and want to learn more about building these kinds of detailed trucks and want some hands-on experience, USDE offers many opportunities to learn from the best. Vendor Row this year was more like Vendor Department Store. The number of vendors at this event was wild, and the booths and displays keep on getting better every year. A mini SEMA show, if you will. Of course, one of the most fun things to watch at USDE is the Basher Park, complete with an 11-foot, almost vertical takeoff ramp. What an awesome event once again. I can't speak highly enough of everyone who makes it possible. Truly a celebration of land-based RC modeling. I have to give a huge thanks to everyone who stopped by the booth and said hi out on the trails. The amount of support was overwhelming this year. Lots of familiar faces and some new ones as well. If this looks like fun to you, I highly recommend you check out this event for yourself. Be sure to check out the official Ultimate Scale Truck Expo website linked below in the description and follow them on their social media pages for updates about next year's event. I hope you all enjoyed seeing some of the highlights from this year's expo. If you have the time, this is certainly one video I would appreciate it if you could click the like button below and share it with any friends or groups that you think might find it interesting. We're always trying to spread awareness of this great event and I really think this is a fantastic experience for any RC modeler. But I am going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.